I mean, he had the heaviest sinker on the outside. I was a left-handed batter, and when he uh, threw to left-handed batters, it was you couldn't pull it. He, he was a, a pitcher that just came right after. Ron Taylor uh, played on two World Series winning teams before going back to med school and becoming the Jays doctor for 30 years. And there's a documentary called Dr. Baseball. Ron Taylor and his two sons join us this morning. Matthew and Drew, thanks for coming in this thanks morning. Thanks for having us. Hey, big time in baseball right now. And, and your dad, uh, he has such a legacy. A lot of people don't know about your dad's story. No, uh, no, they don't. Uh, he's, uh, you know, he's a very quiet guy, very humble. He doesn't really like to talk a lot about uh, his accomplishments. But, you know, and it's not just about uh, his career in baseball, but the fact that, you know, he did, um, you know, did a USO tour in Vietnam and also uh, went back to med school and and continued his career in baseball as the team doctor for the Jays. And it's just such a remarkable uh, story. It is a remarkable story. And your father, a Canadian, mm -hmm. uh, played two World Series. And then with that, being able to come back and share again with the Jays and being with the Jays for 30 years, um, what, what did you learn about his story? Well, I think the, the big thing that, that we learned is his inspiration for going back to medical school. Um, you know, he had this amazing, you know, 11-year major league career. But uh, in 1969, after they won the world championship with the New York Mets, which was a big team, the Miracle Mets, they, they took a few of the players over to Vietnam as part of the USO tours. But because they weren't, you know, performers and on stage and the Bob Hope kind of performances, they were actually, you know, going hospital to hospital, you know, sitting on the edge of beds, talking to some of the wounded soldiers. And, uh, I mean, the impact that that had on his life was something that I think, you know, we didn't really realize going into it. How does it come about when you say, Dad, hey, I want to do a documentary on you? Um, you know, it, uh, it was interesting. I think he was a little hesitant at first because uh, he is such a quiet and shy guy. Yeah, I've met him. He's, he's a wonderful guy. But uh, Yeah, but a very wonderful yeah. man. Um, and, uh, he, you know, we, I think because it was his two sons, he, you know, trusted us to tell the story and, and uh, believed uh, in what we were doing. So it definitely uh, helped, helped him be more comfortable with it. Baseball's a lot of things. A lot of people say it's the greatest game. Um, uh, a lot of lessons to be learned. What lessons has your dad taught you? Um, I think it's perseverance. There's, there's going to be moments in your life where um, you know, you're not going to, you're going to be told by other people that you're not going to be able to accomplish something. You know, for him, um, you know, he was standing in the outfield with Cito Gaston, and, and it wasn't even like a negative thing. But you know, when Ron first suggested to him, you know during batting practice they're just shagging fly balls and um, he says to Cito I think I'm gonna quit baseball and go back to medical school and apply to, to become a doctor and Cito thought he was joking you know he just said come on you know you're a big league ball player what are you, what are you doing uh, wanting to be a doctor so um, you know it's something that many times throughout his life he was potentially deterred like when he walked into to talk to the Dean um, he sat down and he actually was was saying you know I would like to apply to medical school and and the Dean said well what have you been doing for the past 11 years you know you're 35 and uh, he said well I've been playing big league baseball and, and you know it's up in Toronto U of T it was a bit of an yeah. academic so he said what's that so I mean there's there's moments where you kind of face that adversity and you don't think that you know it's going to be necessarily an easy path and and he definitely pushed through all of those barriers the Jays face adversity right now. Mm -hmm. what, what would your dad say, Matt, to the Jays right now? Just one game at a time. Just, you know, keep playing one game at a time. Yeah. Um, for people out there that want to see the film, they can go to filmhouseinc.com. It's gotten lots of accolades. It was at the Bond Film Festival. Mm -hmm. Just played at Cooperstown, too. Yeah, no, it's been, uh, it's been really great. We've been following it around a little bit and played at a lot of festivals. And, yeah, if anybody is, uh, wants to see it out there, filmhouseinc.com. Yeah, so today, if you want to go see it, before watching the game at 4 o'clock, you got time this morning, of course. Once again, it's filmhouseinc.com. Thanks both for coming in this morning. And go Jays, go. Go Jays, go. Go.